Russia's capital is a fantastic destination to explore. Visitors to Moscow are astounded by the amazing sights and astounded by the vastness and grandeur of the city. The Red Square and the Kremlin, which are located in the center of Moscow, are just two of the top tourist destinations. They represent the city's historical, political, and spiritual cores, as well as those of Russia as a whole. Beautiful cathedrals, churches, and palaces coexist in this intriguing city with somber gray Soviet-era monuments and remnants. Moscow is home to top-notch museums, theaters, and art galleries in addition to a wealth of historical and cultural tourist attractions. Seeing a performance while in Moscow is a must. The city is renowned for its performing arts, magnificent ballets, and incredible circus feats. There is something for everyone to enjoy thanks to the abundance of excellent restaurants, hip pubs, and a vibrant nightlife. Ten Top Tourist Attractions in Moscow 10. Saratsino Palace The magnificent Saratsino Palace, which served as Catherine the Great's summer home, is now a museum reserve. Visitors can enjoy the gorgeous park that surrounds the majestic architecture. The south of Moscow Palace, built in 1775, has recently undergone repairs that have improved the rich interiors, stately halls, and gorgeous staircases. Both the history of Tseretsino and the Empress life are included in the exhibitions. Other lovely structures may be found on the vast palace grounds, with the beautiful opera house and magnificent brickwork of the small palace standing out as particularly stunning sights. Kremlin Armory Highlights of the Kremlin Armory, one of the city's oldest museums, are the elaborate Grand Siberian Railway A, the storied cap of Monomak, and the magnificent Imperial Crown of Russia, which frequently draws a swarm of visitors clamoring for a picture. There are numerous intriguing items on display that were once part of the Royal Armory. The various swords, jewels, armor, and other items are fascinating, educational, and enjoyable to browse through. The swords are so expertly made that you'll nearly wish you could take one up and handle it for yourself. The museum is located in the Moscow Kremlin and was founded in 1851. 8. Arbat Street Arbat is a beautiful yet vibrant boulevard with stunning architecture that used to be a favorite among nobles, intellectuals, and artists. Napoleon's troops are supposed to have traveled down Arbat Street, a historic location, on their way to seize the Kremlin. As well as several cafes, restaurants, and stores now, there are also numerous memorials and statues honoring former residents including Alexander Pushkin, who was rumored to have been in love with the Russian Empress due to his enormous power in the courts. Seven, Pushkin Museum. The Pushkin Museum of Fine Arts, despite its name, truly has nothing to do with the well-known poet other than the fact that it was given that name after his passing. Its enormous collection, which emphasizes European art, is a treat to explore and includes works by Botticelli, Rembrandt, and Van Gogh, among others. Its lovely galleries contain sculptures, graphic art, paintings, and more. Different sections focus on themes and eras like the Renaissance, the Dutch Golden Age, and Byzantine art. The clownish creatures in Cezanne's Fastnacht, Mardi Gras, and the elegant-looking spinning ballerinas and Degas Blue Dancers are only two of the highlights. Picasso's Young Acrobat on a Ball is another excellent work to look at because of its inventive use of colors and shapes.
6. Christ the Savior Cathedral Just a short distance from the Kremlin, on the banks of the Moskva River, stands this stunning Russian Orthodox Cathedral. The original church that once stood here was demolished in 1931 as part of Joseph Stalin's anti-religious campaign. The church as it is today was dedicated in 2000. The Christ the Savior Cathedral is magnificent with its wonderful golden dome, spires, and brilliant white facades. The inside, with its exquisitely tiled floors and magnificent altar, is just as fascinating to explore. 5. Lenin Mausoleum Lenin's Mausoleum, which became publicly accessible in 1924, is one of the most well-liked tourist destinations in Moscow. The red granite building is situated in Red Square, the center of the city. The embalmed body of Lenin rests in a glass sarcophagus, passing by the former Soviet dictator is an unsettling experience, but it is well worth seeing because you understandably can't do it anywhere else in the globe. Visit the mausoleum first, then proceed to the Kremlin wall next door to see other graves of significant communist leaders including Brezhnev and Stalin. 4. Bolshoi Theater The largest theater in the nation is the Bolshoi Theater. The magnificent opera and ballet productions it has staged throughout the ages go a long way toward understanding Russia's rich performing arts history. Despite the theater's opening in 1825, the Bolshoi Ballet Company was founded in 1776. The six-tiered, sparkling theater is lavishly and decadently adorned, making it the perfect backdrop for the top-notch acts that take place there. At the Bolshoi Theater, spending a night witnessing performances of timeless plays like Swan Lake or The Nutcracker is likely to be a remarkable experience, and the surrounding splendor just heightens the feeling. Moscow Kremlin. The historic, political, and spiritual hub of the city is this renowned fortified complex, which astonishingly contains five palaces and four cathedrals. The president of the country resides in the Kremlin. Due to its size, it is obvious that it has been used as a fort. The outside walls of the Kremlin were constructed in the late 1400s. Ivan III, also referred to as Ivan the Great, transformed the Kremlin into the administrative hub of a single Russian state. He ruled from 1462 to 1505, and three of the cathedrals in the Kremlin are his creations. During this time, work on the Deposition Church and the Palace of Facets was also completed. In 1508, the Ivan the Great Bell Tower was constructed. With a height of 266 feet, it is the Kremlin's tallest tower, 81 meters. Many of the remnants of the Tsarist governments were destroyed by Joseph Stalin. However, among the relics from that time period are the Tsar Bell, the largest bell in the world, and the Tsar Cannon, the largest bombard by caliber in the world. As one of Moscow's first museums, the Kremlin Armory dates back more than 200 years. It has an excellent collection of diamonds. The Tainitsky, Grand Kremlin Public, and Alexander Gardens are stunning. There are many intact churches and cathedrals in the Kremlin, which has also served as the nation's religious hub. There are more than 60,000 historical, cultural, and aesthetic monuments in the museum collections. Consider going to a ballet or concert at the State Kremlin Palace if you appreciate the performing arts. It is the only modern structure in the Kremlin, having been finished in 1961. Two, Red Square. The most significant and impressive plaza in the city is Red Square, which is located in the center of Moscow. Because of the abundance of historical and cultural landmarks there, it is one of the most visited tourist destinations. The enormous plaza, which is covered in history, is home to amazing landmarks like the Kremlin, St. Basil's Cathedral, and Lenin's Mausoleum, among others. Since it actually contains some of the city's most beautiful monuments, it should not be overlooked when visiting Moscow. 
Numerous significant events in Russian history have taken place here. The ancient marketplace has played host to everything from rock concerts and Soviet military parades to public ceremonies and czar coronations. One of the city's attractions is surely a tour of the enormous square, which is a sobering experience. 1. St. Basil's Cathedral St. Basil's Cathedral is stunning and is situated in the Grand Red Square. Its charming spires look as though they belong in a storybook. The cathedral, the most iconic structure in the nation, is a potent representation of Russia. It is impossible to visit Moscow and not notice all of its distinctive and special qualities. The cathedral was built under the direction of Ivan the Terrible in the middle of the 16th century. According to mythology, Ivan blinded the architect so that he couldn't create a cathedral more magnificent than St. Basil's. The architecture, which was created to replicate the shape of a bonfire in full flame, is exclusive to both the era in which it was constructed and any era that comes after. Napoleon and Stalin both intended to destroy the church for various reasons, but fortunately they were unsuccessful. St. Basil's Cathedral, which has nine different chapels and is renowned for its many hues, shapes, and geometric patterns, is connected to one another by a maze-like network of stairs and hallways. St. Basil's Chapel, located on the ground floor, houses a silver coffin containing the remains of St. Basil the Blessed. Beautiful wooden icons, mosaics, frescoes, and other pieces of art may be found all over the church. The bronze monument to Menin and Pazharsky, who organized an all-volunteer Russian army against Polish invaders during the times of troubles in the late 16th century, is located in a gorgeous garden outside the cathedral. That's for now. We appreciate you being here. View more our channel videos.